all know that 2020 is the year of many. Heh, <laughs> kind of rhymes. Many things happened this year, and we're still just almost done. How? I feel like we went through a whole freaking decade this year in a month. Anyway, 2020 is also the year of Karens, and Karens being in the spotlight, because we really need something to laugh at. And man, do I have so many stories. I mentioned in a previous video that I worked at a store for three years, and of course that store had many Karens. I'm going to tell one of my favorites from that, and two separate stories from my two recent jobs. The wild Karen I dealt with at the first store was actually a male Karen, and I've heard that those are called Kevins. So, whoever you are, buttface, you got a new name. Enjoy it, Kevin. Here's the scene. It's 9am, and I was recently told I couldn't visit my family for Christmas because my boss wouldn't let me, and I had to spend a good part of that holiday time alone. So, I was already sad. I'm dealing with a line of Karens. One Karen actually told me she could do my job better, and I was so tempted to tell her to take my shift. And this guy comes with two black trays of eight Coke bottles. The store didn't allow anyone to take the trays home because they're from a different company. So we were supposed to take the trays back. However, some customers, like what we're about to see here, didn't listen to that rule. The Kevin has me scan the sodas while trying to make pleasant conversation with me. And by the way, by that I meant inappropriate comments. And then I tell him that I needed to trace back. Somehow, that was the secret spell to ruin this guy's entire life. He started going off on me, telling me that he practically waited a half hour to get served. By the way, there were uh, two cashiers open and for some reason he chose the longer line. And then started to say, oh, you want these trays back? You stupid girl. He really said a different word to care to take a guess. Why don't you come fight me for them then? Come out and fight me right now for these flipping, again, a different word, trays. I'll beat you, I bet. He was cussing and causing a scene. I'm a 23-year-old, 4'11 woman, and this guy was threatening me right under a security camera. It also does help that I look 16, so this is one of those times where I could use that power for evil. Um, so it didn't really look good on him that he was threatening someone that practically looked 16. I didn't even have to do anything for him to realize he looks like an idiot and that he lost. He ripped a receipt out of my hand and grumbled some more curse words as he left. Ow. For this year, I've also mentioned I got hired at a Halloween store and of course a number one rule is don't try on the mask because of COVID. And I, among everyone else, had to enforce this rule. For some reason, I enjoyed the power of authority. One of my awesome managers always put me by the mask section so I can watch it. It got boring, sure, and tedious, yeah. I kind of felt like I wasn't really doing anything useful. And then, by some divine power, a challenge finally came my way mid-October. A Karen. She was trying on a mask and taking selfies to show someone, I guess. And I had to walk up to her. I started off friendly, as I always do, because I gotta keep her professional. Ma'am. I'm sorry, but you can't try on a mask. There's a sign right there. And this was true, by the way. She was literally right next to the sign. Karen rolls her eyes and says, It's okay. I got my mask on. See, I'm wearing it right under. Leave me alone. That argument, however, didn't change the rule. I cleared my throat and stayed professional, but the niceties were way out of my tone. I say, <laughs> Okay, let me rephrase that. Take off the mask. The Karen glares at me, takes off the mask, drops it in front of me, and walks away. My manager, we'll call her Mary Sanderson, called me the MVP for that day. So of course I had to tell this story here. Mary, I hope you enjoyed your screen time and enjoyed this. Be safe. Let's talk. And finally, a recent place. While I was working at the Halloween store, I had a second job that is now my primary job. I work in a quality plushie store to summarize and I am so happy all the time there. It's the nicest, cutest place on earth. I only deal with 3% Karens there, so that's not a long list to pick out from. Here's one with both a Karen and a Kevin for bonus. So the store I work at is in a mall in my hometown and to keep business open, we have to follow COVID protocol. Understandable, right? Cool. 
great. Anyway, this family of a couple and their two daughters walks in. The wife has a drink and I tell her she can have the drink in the store, but she can't drink it because she can't take off her mask. She just shrugged me off and looked around with her husband. A little girl wanted a certain rainbow plushie and because it was so popular, we only had two left. One for display and one untouched and packaged in a stock room. Kevin asked me if we have a package one so he doesn't have to get the display one because other people touch it. He literally said he wouldn't buy the plush if it was the only one because it could have been touched. That's understandable and safe. My coworker gets a package one for him and the family looks around as he rants about people touching the plushies and how gross it is. Then I saw his wife drink from her drink. I reminded her again about the policy and Karen rolls her eyes as Kevin gets mad. What if she's thirsty? My own wife can't even drink in front of you? Where's the sign that says that? Again, there was a sign, and I informed him that he walked right past it when he came in. He then asked what she can do when she was thirsty, and I told him very bluntly that she could just step outside. I did keep it kind, of course, but I did have to be honest. He kept grumbling about how inhumane this was as they looked around, and then the final straw. I had to enforce a policy about covering noses while in the store. One of the sweet little girls was hugging a plushie close to her face without her mask on. And as cute as it was, and as much as I didn't want to ruin her fun, I unfortunately had to ask her to cover her nose. I said as sweetly as I could, Hey sweetie, can you do me a favor and cover your nose please? Thank you. Kevin lost it. Who the heck are you talking to? Are you talking to my kid? She's a little girl, she can do what she wants. Don't tell her about the stupid mask thing. He grabbed a plushie from her and threw it slappily on a shelf and left a rainbow plushie somewhere. They walked out, Kevin telling me how I wasn't selling him anything, how I had issues, and that the store should close. And thus, that concludes the Karens and the Kevins. Have you ever witnessed one or dealt with one yourself? Let me know in the comments. And I hope you like me enough to subscribe. Be safe and toodles!